right, welcome back to another Creating Your 5M Framework. This time we're going to be working in scripts.js inside of the HM, HL, blah, 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 HTML folder. So first things first, we're going to start it off with a dollar sign document. And then this is going to be a document.ready. And then it's going to be the function. Uh, oops, function. And inside of the function, we're going to open that up and get us a nice bracket right after very beautiful, very beautiful. So a couple things here. Uh, quite a bit of copying and pasting is going to go on during here. Uh, it's basically, I'll do it the first time and then we'll copy and paste, basically. So start it off with a dot marker button, which is your marker button. And then we're going to be on and then, whoops, on click. So we're grabbing this on click. So when you're on click on a, monk, on a marker button, it is going to do this. We can end this right here as well, just so we don't have to do it later. We've got to make sure we end things correctly. So starting it off with a var, which is a variable, uh, we're going to do marker button or marker set, my bad, equals dollar sign. And we're going to do dot marker, oops, dot marker btn, capital B. And we're going to end that off right like that. And now we're going to do an if statement. So we're going to do if marker set dot as class. And then if it has this class, so it's going to be marker btn dash active. So if it has this, then it's going to do this. So we're going to do dollar sign. And then let me just, I'm going to dot marker etn so we're going to copy this because we, we use this quite often here uh and what we're going to do is dot remove class and we're basically going to be removing this marker marker etn dash active class and just making it sure it's it's not active at all so that's going to be done with that and then we're going to do a var clicked so that's going to equal this dot data and it's going to equal that to data and it's going to grab that location that we are on so now we're going to do an if clicked equal equals for an example pink which is going to be pink cage so if that then this so we're going to do dollar sign uh let me do this it's going to be marker button but inside of here it's going to be dot pink because it's going to be pink cage and then we're going to do an add class. And then this is going to be our pink dash active, which turns it to that green that we've seen. So add that to close as well. And we're going to do a couple things here. So one, two, three, four, I believe four more. Uh, pink is going to change to bus. And this is going to change to remove, remove class. Uh, and not bus, bus. So that's going to change to bus. This next one's going to change to dream. This next one's going to do airport. And the last one is going to be harmony. So harmony. And now, basically, we're going to do an else if you would have thought clicked equal equals to, let's say, let's just go down the list. So let's do bus. Uh, and then we'll do this. So we'll basically copy and paste all this in here. Uh, and we'll just, I guess we could just do this. Uh, you know what? Honestly, yeah, let's just remove this class and then we just do add class right here. Make it a lot easier for us. You could just add it to the top if you wanted to. Um, not really needed. So instead of bus here, we are gonna change this. Um, we can go down the list. So let's go dream. And we'll add class here and remove class, whoops, remove class here. And then we copy, copy it all, copy that all, paste that in. Instead of dream, oops, instead of dream, we do airport and add class here, remove class here, copy and paste. And now we're gonna do harmony here. So we'll add class on that last one and then we'll remove the class on that. 
and then that is going to be done for this part. Now we're going to do a couple more things in here. So after all this, we're going to do another if statement. So if clicked equals null, then whoops, then what we're going to do is dollar sign, and then this is going to be dot spawn dash box. So if nothing, then that's going to equal to hide. It's going to tell you to hide this, um, and else we will do um, let's do spawn oops, spawn dtn so spawn button dot data and then we're gonna grab spawn name so the spawn name is gonna be so the spawn name is gonna be this this dot data and then location and then after that we're gonna do dollar sign spawn spawn box dot fade in and we're gonna set that to a hundred close that off just like so uh, let's close this off as well so we close that last one off now inside of here we're gonna do uh, an event listener so we're gonna do window dot add event listener and this is gonna be a message we're looking for with a function of e just like that and we can end this off right here we could end this off and inside of here we're going to talk about this so we're going to, it's going to be if e dot data so if the event dot data dot action action is equal equal to display Then we're gonna do dollar sign body. So this whole body dot CSS and then background background comma RG RGBA and then in here it's gonna be zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point seven because that's the opacity. Close that off right like that dollar sign dot spawn background and we're going to remove class of the spawn background which is oops, disabled so we're going to remove that disabled class and then basically uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this one more time paste this in instead of remove class oh, we are going to do fade in and we're going to set this to 500. And just like that, that is going to be the end of that. So now we're going to be doing the spawn function. So we're going to do a function here and call it spawn. Inside this function, we are going to do a var location. And that's going to set to equal to dollar sign dot, dot spawn button. So spawn button dot data and then spawn dash name close that off right like that and now we're going to do a dollar sign post post and this is where you get the little website http colon slash slash mp dash spawn slash spawn and then we're going to do a json json dot stringify so we're going to stringify this and we're going to add that bracket, close like that. And then inside of here, we're going to do location, colon, location. And that's what we're setting this to. Location is set to location. Then we're going to do um, basically, we can grab these two right here. Uh, we could honestly probably change this from. So this is supposed to be set to transparent and then spawn background is actually going to fade out for that 300 and then we're going to have an, one in the middle here which is going to be that spawn dot spawn box dot fade out and that's going to be 100 
and we can save this. So in theory, this should all run. But we need to test ooh, test it. We already opened up our ZAMP. We have it going. And let's close that. And let's get the server up and going as well. So MP framework, start the server up. Uh, 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 and I forgot to add it in the... So one thing you are going to have to do is add it into... Where, where was this? Where's the select character here? So you're going to have to open the menu in your CL care right here. It's just a trigger event, and then it's going to be that spawn open menu. Um, and yeah. So once I load in, so let me load in real quick. Let me open up 5M, and I can show you everything here. And some people were asking me about uh, what JC dash everything is. Uh, that was my old framework, which this framework is, I would say, heavily based on. Except uh, that framework ended up dying, and I didn't want to put much more effort into it as it was it was just a mangled mess. It was one of my first uh, times even trying to create this. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is ensure MP dash spawn. And we're getting an initial scale on HTML6 here. So let's just take a quick look at this. So HTML6, uh, we're getting an error for initial scale right here. I believe we did this in our HTML here. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this basically in here. What did I change? Did I fuck it? Oh. <laughs> of course, I messed up the spelling. Uh, wow, who would have thought? So now we won't get any error when we click. Look at this, we got a cursor here. Um, so when I click here, it's actually not saving this as an active class. Um, and it's not writing it down here, but does it work? So let's go pink cage motels for an example here. So does this work? Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay. Um, so it looks like we're just going to have to fix that, but we could do that later. And that just allows me to add another video on here. <laughs> but look at that. We actually do get to spawn in. Um, nothing really is here. I really need to change this chat up too because that shit's ugly. Uh, but we could do that later. At least we are now in the server. Let's see if we don't have any more errors. Can we do resmon on this? Resmon? Access denied for command resmon. That's interesting. Can we do overlays? No. Launch. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to go on to resmon, but it feels good. doesn't feel like we're having many issues here, and uh, we were able to get in. Uh, next would be, I mean... I do want to try something. Let me try. Uh, you know what? It works right now. We could try test stuff later. We still have to make it so that it says it on the spawn menu. Uh, if you want to download this, it's going to be in the Discord in the MP. Uh, MP. I guess I could just show you guys. It is going to be directly in this main power right here. It's going to post right here, and you can download it from there. But thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, sub. Thank you.